all right now because you have clicked on this video that means you want to learn web scrapping very quickly so i won't waste your much time and directly take you to the chrome window over here you can browse for any random website over here for example i'm going to browse amazon.in and in that you can search anything for example let's say i'm searching for python you know book python books now just click this the url which you got just take this and come over here put it right over here now just come back over here and close this now everything will happen automatically select this and run this when you run this it's gonna automatically open the same page bravo now it will maximize it as well okay so i'm not doing anything everything is going to happen automatically now the next thing which you need to do is get the list of all these books which you see over here how would you get that let's start with one item first okay so web scrapping is nothing but all the game of finding a unique tag how do you find the tag for that you just need to right click on the item which you want to fetch so here i want to fetch book name i right clicked on that and then click on inspect when you click on this it's gonna open a docker window for you let me adjust this window little bit and then over here now in this docker in this entire code you need to figure out that patch which has this particular book name now it's a big task isn't it don't worry i'm going to simplify it you see this arrow just click on this and come back over here and hover on this click on this over here if you see this particular patch is selected and in this patch if you see here is the book name which you are looking for right this is the book name which we require to fetch and that is residing in the span tag and span tag has an attribute called class which is containing this kind of value so this is it this is the thing which is going to help you fetch the book name now what i will do is i'll just double click on the class and select this copy this after that what i'll do i'll just press ctrl f and into that i'm going to put double slash span start the square bracket put at the red symbol and whatever you have copied just paste over here and close the square bracket now if you see it has selected the book name it should select the book name let me show it to you i will just come over here and when you go down like you can see here it is selecting second book name just keep an eye at this side okay now if you click this again it is selecting this name this name that means this is the patch which has the book name now all that you need to do is just select this copy this this item okay come back over here and type a syntax which is driver dot find element and into that we are going to search this by x path all right so we are done with writing the syntax and into double quote just put whatever you copied from there now over here you if you are seeing the different color green and black all that you need to do is just adjust this quotations put this double quotation you can change to single one this is it now just run this particular thing and here you got the book name all right now you're gonna say what rubbish is this we didn't get the book name don't worry about it now here is the web element that we have got now let's just store this in a variable let's call it book okay and once you run this the value is stored in the book now let's just print that and you will get the book name now run this and oh man what is it that you are talking still you don't get the book name hold on sir just give me give it a second now over here what this book stores the web element out of that what is it that you want to fetch that is text so you need to say dot text and now when you run this here is the book name which you got okay this is the learning with python you got it now this is just one book name you need to fetch all the 22 book name how can you do that for that you don't need to do much just come over here and here you have find element just make it find elements and done just run this particular thing all right so here it is saying it's showing you the error of course that will so you just need to do is write a small loop for x in book and over here you just print this instead of book you're gonna say x and just run this thing uh, all from all the way from here and just execute this who you got the you got all the book name the same thing you need to do for 
price fetching the prices okay now before that i will just put this in a list let's call it books i'm creating a blank list right so books is created and after that all that you need to do is instead of saying print just say books dot append and into that it will append all the books name and then over here you can just check the length of books okay and now when you do this this is what gonna happen you see 22 books are scrapped now if you want to print this just say books and you see all the 22 books are printed over here same thing you're gonna do for price now if you have understood it completely just do this scrapping for the price for me please do it now all that you need to do is click this arrow come over here and find the tag you see it is exactly same you have a span tag you have class attribute and in that you have this value so all that you need to do is change this value and get the list all right thank you very much for watching the video Steve